Texas. And the man accused in the ambush killing of Sheriff's Deputy Darren Goforth making his first court appearance today. Shannon Miles facing capital murder charges. He's accused of shooting Deputy Goforth 15 times at a gas station in a Houston suburb. To Casey Stiegel in Houston with the very latest. Casey. And Stuart, that court hearing today did not last very long. Much of it, the district attorney basically went through all of the probable cause that she has to justify the capital murder charge. You know, the sheriff here in Harris County uh, says that in all of his 45 years of law enforcement experience, 45 years, he cannot recall another incident this cold-blooded and cowardly. Those were his exact words. Officials trying to get to the bottom of why this ambush style attack was carried out in the first place. The sheriff, Ron Hickman, says that Deputy Darren Goforth, a 10 year veteran of the department, had no previous contact with, uh, uh, with the shooter to their knowledge. Authorities say that 30 year old Shannon Miles simply walked up to the deputy in uniform as he was filling up his police car Friday night at a Houston area gas station and opened fire. Investigators say it didn't just end there, that the suspect then stood over the 47-year-old deputy and continued shooting as he lay on the ground. 15 shell casings recovered from the scene in all. Now, Shannon Miles does have a pretty extensive rap sheet, including convictions for resisting arrest, trespassing, and disorderly conduct with a firearm. Meantime, hundreds and hundreds of people from this community gathered at the scene of the crime yesterday, marching through the streets to hold a vigil for the fallen deputy. According to the Officer Down Memorial page, 23 law enforcement officers have been shot to death this year. That includes two over in neighboring Louisiana in just this past week alone. Stewart. All right, Casey, thank you very much. Question. Are protests like this fueling this war on law enforcement? All right, did you hear that? The group Black Lives Matter chanting, Pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon. To former DC homicide detective Rod Wheeler, who says this has got to stop. Okay, Rod, who stops them? You know, I don't know. I think that's a good question, um, Stuart. But let me tell you what the Black Lives Matter movement has missed the mark on is the fact that they don't realize that all lives matter, not just black lives matter. And I submit to you, Stuart, that the Black Lives Matter movement needs to realize that in 1964, with the Civil Rights uh, Act of 1964, that was an All Lives Matter Act, and they need to reread that because what they will come to realize is that everybody's life matter, not just theirs. Got it. But what is the black community saying to this movement, Black Lives Matter? I think that's an excellent question, Stuart, and I can definitely answer that. And I can answer it directly to the, the founders of this Black Lives Matter movement. We believe, all of us in every community, believe in, in justice for all of us, no matter what the race is. But when you start shooting people and treating people in a manner in which you don't want to be treated, where you don't have respect for others, no one, regardless of their race or ethnicity, will agree with that. And we disdain their movements. We disdain what they're trying to do. We believe in justice for all. You know, Stuart, Martin Luther King said one time, he said, a man should be judged by the content, uh, not by the color of his skin but by the content of his character and clearly the black lives matter movement must have forgotten that that incredible speech but it is having impact black lives matter remember martin o'malley was forced to apologize yeah. by black lives matter because he committed the unpardonable sin of saying all lives matter they've had impact on this campaign that did have an impact on this campaign, and that's why people need to look the other way when Martin O'Malley talks. And you know what? I, I got to say this. John Kasich, and I thought about this over the weekend, Governor John Kasich made a statement at the uh, Fox debate. He said, we need to, to all of us, he said, we need to pull our, our fellow man up, help our fellow man out, and all of us uplift each other. And I thought that was so powerful what John Kasich said, and that's the direction our country needs to be going, not listening to Martin O'Malley, who doesn't have a clue. Do you think it's a turnaround point, the Houston killing? 
You know, I hope it is, but unfortunately, Stuart, I don't think it is. I think we're going to see more of this kind of massacre going forward until all of us good Americans, black and white, come together and say enough is enough. Let's put this Black Lives Matter stuff on the back burner and come together as a nation. Rod Wheeler, thanks very much for joining us. Appreciate it, sir. Sure. Thank you, Stuart. Later this hour, this sheriff not holding back. David Clark telling me on Fox Business who he thinks is responsible for this war on the police. That's coming up. But first, after stocks close out a volatile month, Bernie Sanders saying Wall Street is built on nothing but fraud. Is that responsible talk right now?